All right, we're given a pretty small data set here, and we're asked to calculate all of the things. Let's start with the mean. We learned that to find a mean, we add up all of the data values, and we divide by the number of data values. There were seven values here. Adding up all of the data gives me 70. So 70 divided by 7 is 10. And if we're going to use the appropriate notation here, our sample mean is 10. Next, if we want to find the median, what we need to do first is order the data. Now we can cross off values from either side of this set so that we can work our way to finding our middle value. That value is 10, so our median is 10. Our mode is always our most frequently occurring data value. And since 10 appears in this data set three times, our mode is going to be 10 as well. Moving on, our mid-range is always the average of the smallest and the largest data value. The smallest data value is 7. The largest data value we have in this list is 13. To average those two, we add them up and we divide by 2. That's giving me 20 over 2 or 10. So our mid-range is 10 as well. I don't have a graph of this data, but our mean, our median, and our mode, and our mid-range range, all being the same value, is really suggesting to me that this is normally distributed data. But we have more calculations to do. Let's find the range. The range of our data is the largest data value minus the smallest data value. That's going to be 13 minus 7. Our range is 6. Finally, we're going to find a standard deviation for this data set. The way we've been doing this is setting up a table with our data values in the leftmost column. I'm just going to copy them down in order from our list above. I'm going to move this up and write the rest of the values in. Then in the second column, we're going to subtract the mean from each one of those data values. The mean of this data set was 10 above. So I'm going to subtract 10 from every one of these data values. Well, conveniently, that's giving us a bunch of zeros in the middle. OK, so we have each of our data values minus the mean now. Now for the next column, we're just going to square every one of those results, keeping in mind that when we square a negative number, we get a positive number. And in this case, it's good to know that when you square 0, you get 0. Now the next step in finding a standard deviation is to sum all of the values in this last column, which gives us, I think, 26. Next, we're going to divide that result by n minus 1. So we're going to take 26, and we're going to divide by n minus 1. n is the number of data values, and we had 7 data values in this set. So really what we're doing is we're doing 26 divided by 6. That's approximately 4.333. And for our final answer, we're going to take a square root of that result. That's giving me approximately 2.08 eight for our standard deviation. Hey, and that was pretty fun. I hope that that helped you out. Let's keep the good times rolling in the next video.